going on? Welcome to Backyard Smoke. I'm your host James and today we're going to be reviewing the brand new Thermopro truly wireless thermometer. Now I did purchase this with my own money so I'm going to get my full unadulterated uninhibited valid review. I've actually been waiting on this product for a while to come out. I love Thermopro products and I was like, I want them to come out with one. They did. Found it. Had a little special on their Instagram. Went ahead, put the coupon code in. Got it the next day. So it's dope. So what we're going to do today, a couple of things. First, we're going to unbox it. It's still sealed up, as you can see. So we're going to get in on the official unboxing. Second, we're going to take a look at the app. See what the application is like. Is it easy to use? Is it fun? Is it, you know, just simple. You want simple, right? With barbecues. Sometimes we drink and hang out with friends. We don't want complicated technology. I'm a tech guy. But sometimes I like it easy. We're going to test the range out. So I'm going to throw a uh, three and a half pound tomahawk steak on the grill and we're going to check it out. I believe it's rail right up to 500 feet. Let's see. I didn't usually go that far from my pit, but you never know, you know, so we'll just, we'll check it out. And we're going to just check out the overall build quality. So without further ado, let's get the unboxing. All right, let's unbox this joint. A little knife, cut the paper. So, in the box, we have the thermal Pro or a temp spike is what they're calling it. Temp spike. Oh. Nice. Got a little four feet on the bottom. Kind of helps it from the slide. Not too bad. Nice cover. Charging base. This is a heavy duty spike. It's got some weight to it. We have your uh, pros or sensors right here for ambient temp. Nice spike. And a constant sticker. All right, well, can't click with that on, so let's go ahead and get that on. And here we have our charging cable, our just like download the app and uh, use it. So we'll actually go over that. I'll show you guys how we set that up. We have some more. You know, caution, security stuff. Customer support. And our instructions. Looks like it comes in English and in Spanish. So, pretty dope. So, it's already blinking, so it must have a little bit of charge. We're going to go ahead and charge it up right quick and just get a full charge. Looks like our charging port is, let's find our charging port. Right here, covered up. So we're going to charge this real quick, get it fully charged. And then we're going to look at it, get into the app. So it looks like we have a few things. We have a booster on this side. And I think and that's going to help boost the range. We have our Bluetooth dot here for Bluetooth connectivity. We have our battery uh, indicator here. And we have our booster battery indicator. So I'm going to read the instructions and kind of find out what does what. But overall, the build quality is nice. I like the case a lot. Sleek, orange. I can dig it. So give me a few seconds, let's charge this up, and then we're going to head and look into the app and go ahead and get cooking. See you guys in a second. So check it out. The uh, setup was super easy. Just um, take the QR code that is inside the uh, instructions, scan it, 
download the app and follow the instructions real easy now right now my um, probe is in the case and I'm gonna show you guys how fast it connects so let's take the lid off take the probe out boom and you can see right up top it connects uh, from the probe to the booster from the booster to your phone and the app is not really that hard to use either so this is your first page of it and it has like the inter inter uh, internal temperature 78 degrees ambient is a default 122 degrees now we can definitely work around that so let's open the app sorry and we're in here so you have your alarms on and off vibrations the whole nine meat is what i like take this out it has a lot of your traditional meats and you can add on more meats now for beef um you could change what your setting is so you'll push the medium button and for me because i'm gonna do a reverse sear on a tomahawk later i'm gonna put it down to 125. i'm probably gonna even do it lower than that because i'm gonna uh, pull it at like 110. but that's pretty cool so i go out so the meat that i have it set on is beef it doesn't show it but i, I got a feeling once i get to cooking and i put the probe in things are going to be better i have my alarms here so i click on alarms and if i'm cooking like a pork butt or something like that or if i want to tell myself hey i need to come out and check this at however many times minutes or whatever i can do that and i can put comments in here on notes so i can know what i'm doing not that i would forget but hey just to say hey come check come spritz on your ambient side you have your alarms for if you if the temp gets too low so if i'm cooking i don't want my temperatures going below 225 degrees but i also don't want them higher say you know let's say we don't want anything higher than 275 and we'll turn our alarms on so that way we'll know hey we're in a danger zone or we're in an uncomfortable spot let's change it now you see at the bottom here it does say ambient temperature won't display until temperature is higher than 122 degrees fahrenheit or 50 degrees celsius so 122 degrees is the default um anything else on here let me see i like this meat section it has your graph here so you can show your temperature fluctuations i think that's pretty cool especially when you're doing them long cooks and you're really trying to learn your grill that's going to be awesome i can't wait to try that in the oklahoma joe uh i'm really digging this meat section so i guess i have to go let me try this oh so take this out okay and then we put set ah i like that and it tells you mid insert you know it's the thickest part so for people who don't know this is really awesome and the notch is the little black line on the probe you got to put it all the way on there push continue place the booster at least one fleet which is 30 centimeters away from the cooking which is fine good reminder i'll keep it there because i might take it too far or something like that and then boom now I have beef. My target temperature for this uh, cook is 125. And right now we're at 75. Oops, we're in the basement, so no worries. Uh, one thing I like to do, I want to try, is if I can lower my target temp. Even below what they have. Because if I want to, say, pull it for a reverse seal like I'm going to do, I want to want it at like 110. So I want to go like a 110. And then I'll bring it up to 125, 130. So I wonder if I do an add, and I say, let's try, sorry, it's hard to type when you're like this. Tomahawk ribeye, temperature value, say I want to go 1, 
10. Because that's why I want to pull that before I reverse sear it. Done. Save. So today, because I'm going to do this, Tomahawk Ribeye, set, continue. Nice. So that's perfect. I have a Tomahawk Ribeye set at 110 degrees Fahrenheit for the alarm to go off. And then boom, we're going to pull it. Then I'll probably switch it again, pull it out, and just monitor it accordingly. All right, guys, so check it out. The steak is still dry brining. Got a few more hours. I'll be back in a little bit when we go ahead and get this party started. I'm loving this app so far. We're going to test it while it's cooking, and we're going to test the range next. All right, check you guys in a little bit. So all we're going to do now is put a temp spike into the tomahawk steak. We see here the probe, the black line, very well defined. We're going to just go ahead and put this in up to that point. And from there, we are going to put it onto the 22 uh, Weber kettle. Now, the trick that I'm going to use is I'm going to fully trust the temp spike. And I am not going to open up the pit until the alarm goes off at 110 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, in the meantime, let's go check the range out while this thing is cooking. All right, so we are in my front yard, front of my house. We're gonna go for a little walk. And I went ahead and put the app on my tablet so you guys can kind of get an idea and, you know, get an, see where we're at. My house is the one there with the H3 Hummer and the uh, red car Dodge Journey. So we're gonna walk to the corner. That's just around 500 feet, so I don't ever plan on really walking this far, but hey, stuff happens. Um, so far, so good. As you can see it is connected. It hasn't gone off. Uh, the instructions say that if we go too far, it will disconnect. So let's see how far we can go. All right, so we finally got to the corner and we are getting a disconnect on the tablet. The alarm is very loud. As you can see, it gives you a nice big warning. All right, so as you can hear, this thing is loud, but that's cool. We're going to go ahead and start our reverse here. We got our grill around about 500 degrees, put some brand new coals in the bottom. And we're going to go ahead and, you know, do the magic of time and get this thing done in just a few seconds. All right, so we went ahead and let the steak rest about 20 minutes, and it is time to go ahead and cut into this thing. This bad boy is nice. Um, I'm excited to see what the product is. Let's check it out. Let's go ahead and get the bone off here. 
Got a dial strong knives. Probably need to sharpen this bad boy. It's been used a lot. Uh, the little fingers, that's my daughter. Don't worry. I won't cut her, I promise. As you can see, uh, it's nice. It's hey, good time. Uh, rare, uh, medium rare, like I like it. And forgive me, I didn't even pay attention to the grain. I was just so excited to cut into this thing. But it still came out nice and juicy. The family loved it. We all enjoyed it. The crust was good. And I must say that the uh, the temp uh, temp spike did its thing. I'm happy. Very very happy. So uh, let's get down to the final review. So, this is dope. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, the people over at Thermopro outdid themselves. This was a really good, good product. Um, I did not open up the lid whatsoever uh, during the cook. I let the uh, the temp spike do its thing. I went to it when it said 110, and I pulled it, and I was happy. I was real happy about it. Seared the steak, let it rest. Um, I had only one little issue and that was disconnect my wood into my basement, uh, on the tablet. Now, I understand that's probably because the, um, the signal was interrupted. So that was the only downfall. I do have that problem sometimes as well with the wired ones when it connects to the Bluetooth, oh, sorry, to the, um, little transmitter as well for the wired thermal pros. Not a deal breaker. Uh, the 500 feet. Yeah, that was pretty good. Got to the end of my block. So that was perfect. I don't think I'm going to be going there often, but you know, the kids are running around or something. I got to, you know, dog gets loose. It's good to know it can go there. Uh, the alarm is loud. Uh, scared me. I thought my fire alarm was going off. Uh, smoke detector, sorry, was going off. So I highly uh, recommend probably adjusting your volume on your phone or something. Um, I did like the vibrating aspect. Um, and this or that, I also truly enjoyed the graph and I'll post up here the graph um, that it provides, that, that kind of tells you about your cook and how long uh, your temps are, where you're steady. So you're kind of learning something as well. Uh, the biggest thing is, it is a tool. Um, still got to learn to grill, still got to learn to pit, all that good stuff. But it was really nice. The interface is so smooth. I really enjoyed it. Uh, once it connected, I had no problems. Um, I didn't have any issues with it between phone and tablet. So that was also a good thing. But overall, this is a dope product if you can get your hands on it. Uh, the 500 feet uh, open air was nice. And then the ambient was really good. I liked that a lot. It was consistent. The ambient was only 25 degrees below my uh, thermometer on the Weber. So that was also a good thing. And it just really helped. It, it kind of set me at ease. I mean, I know the, the pro was the same way, but something about just having it on your phone, having the detail, having the alerts, it just gives you that extra step of confidence that, you know, you don't get from a regular wired in pro. Now, if you use more than one, sometimes that's cool too. Because some of the double pros, I would use one in the meat and one on the grate. But this, I think I like it better just having the ambient temperature around and it worked well. So if you guys like it, I'm going to leave a link in the description to Amazon. Um, please help the channel out. You know, that your, your support is also well needed and I appreciate it. It doesn't cost you anything extra. Feel free to purchase it. Um, if you like this video, please subscribe. Check us out. Let me know if you need anything else. You know, I'll click whatever, try whatever. Other than that, you guys be blessed and thanks for watching.